In a bold and geopolitically sensitive move, Indonesia is exploring the creation of a layered coastal missile network, combining India's BrahMos and China's YJ-12 CM-302 supersonic cruise missiles. Dubbed Project Missile Umbrella, the plan aims to bolster Indonesia's maritime defense along strategic straits, like Sunda, Lombok, and Makassar, deterring incursions and ensuring robust area denial amid rising tensions in the South China Sea. Sources report Jakarta is pursuing a dual-track missile acquisition integrating two different systems to create overlapping kill zones for hostile surface forces. The outer layer, powered by BrahMos missiles, targets long-range and high-value threats, while the inner layer, using the CM-302, focuses on agile, shorter-range targets that penetrate initial defenses. This concept aligns with President Minimum Essential Force, MEF 2035 Blueprint, Blending Deterrence, Redundancy, and Diversified Procurement. BrahMos Missile, Outer Layer Precision India's BrahMos, co-developed with Russia, is a Mach 3 supersonic cruise missile capable of sea, land, air, and submarine launches. Key features include Extended Range Recent tests extended its reach to 800 kilometers, making it a game-changer for long-range maritime strikes. Accuracy, guided by inertial navigation, multi-GNSS, and active radar homing with submeter precision. Stealthy flight profile, sea skimming at 10 to 15 meters, with steep dive attack capability to exploit islands and coastal geography. Versatility, deployable from mobile coastal batteries, ships, or submarines, offering flexible and rapid response options. The Chinese CM-302, export variant of YJ-12, complements BrahMos as the inner shield with key attributes. High speed, reaches Mach 4 in terminal sprint, capable of saturating defenses. Range, 280 kilometers, domestic variants up to 460 kilometers. Low altitude flight, five to 10 meters sea skimming, guided by Beidou satellite navigation for GPS denied environments. Rapid deployment and affordability, TEL-based mobility and cost-effective mass deployment for shorter-range, tactical strike zones. By sourcing missiles from India and China, Indonesia signals non-alignment, hedges against supplier dependency, and strengthens multi-directional deterrence. BrahMos also enhances ties with India, while CM-302 leverages Chinese financing and offsets. With BrahMos' recent 800 km extended-range test, Indonesia's outer strike layer would gain unprecedented reach, reinforcing the archipelago's coastal defenses and protecting critical sea lanes, offshore energy infrastructure, and national sovereignty. If approved, Indonesia plans a phased deployment, purchase agreements, personnel training, emplacement of coastal batteries, live-fire exercises, and integration with maritime ISR and hardened C2 infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section.